this video we are going to see the client side scripting in the model driven form or you can say on dynamic 365 forms and uh, as you are already aware that uh, with the client side scripting it is very useful for the developers with the and uh, with the help of uh, client side scripting and where we can able to access the execution context uh, and with the help of that execution context it will we can get uh, able to get the library of the forms model driven forms or dynamics form whatever you say and from there we can easily access the form properties like sections views tabs uh, the fields which we are added into the forms those kind of uh, things we can easily access even though with the help of this client side scripting javascript i would say we can easily access the current login user security role and that based on the security role we can make uh, make some changes on the ui side as well so so this is client side scripting is pretty much important in the model driven form or the dynamic 65 form and in this session we are going to see how to change the scope of the tab uh, so in a normal scenario you are pretty much familiar that uh, by default uh, there is an option called you know this is the option where where we can uh, uh, the scope of the uh, tab like you know on, on uh, this can be a by default open i would say open or op uh, just uh, first uh, focus is set to that particular tab but you know programmatically we can also achieve this thing uh, so we are going to see how can we do it with the help of javascript and programmatically so for this thing uh, we need to set a few things first so i'll go going to start with uh, basic thing so here this is my customer entity uh, customer entity or customer table and here i have uh, this is my form section and here from form section i am choosing the main form and i have just opened this main form in a new tab so this is my form and this is model driven form and here i have uh, three tabs inside one form uh, tab one tab two or tab three and in tab three i make it uh, this option expand this tab by default it's option by default checked so whenever my form will load so by default every time this tab one should always be open but you know um, i have some weird re requirement coming from the client side like you know whenever they uh, open the form uh, at that moment tab 3 should be by default uh, open i mean i mean to say the focus of the uh, the we need to set the focus of focus to the tab 3 so how can we achieve this by programmatically uh, we will going to see these things so now first thing uh, let me quickly show you the basic things like i'll going to uh, going into the this section so first what i'm trying to do i just created this simple snip code snippet uh, this is my function called set default focus and here I added the one parameter called execution context. Uh, this execution context we are uh, we are passing from the form. I will show you how to pass that execution context. I here, then I'll just add it one debugger and then I, what I'm trying to do is just simply creating the object of this uh, execution context. I would say it's a form context and then uh, once I create the object then I, with this object I can easily interact easily access my all the form properties so where i'm so here i need to go to the ui form context.ui then inside the ui there is one option called tabs and then gets and then here i need to pass the uh, tab name so where i'm getting this tab name so tab name i would be getting from here like you know so this is my label and this is my name so this is a system name and from here if i i just wanted to set the focus on tab 3 so here this is my tab 3 and this is my tab 2 i given uh, this name tab 2 and simply that name i have added into the here added here and then uh, the property what i am going to do is like a just a set focus so uh, whenever my code will execute so uh, even though uh, my uh, tab set focus is set to the first tab but uh, after reading this after executing this code it will move from tab 1 to tab 3 so this thing we are going to see so firstly this code i have written over here and this code is already being published uh publish it to the my uh dynamic system fair model driven forms and now i'll just go to here and first what things i need we need to do first first we'll need to go here and click on this from uh, just click on the libraries and from libraries uh first uh we just need to add a library so uh, so i add a library means this is the piece of code this is my javascript file i have just published this file into the dynamics and uh, model driven uh, environment and 
from there, I just really need to search that library. So this is library uh, search, and then I need to add this library. So here I already added this library. Uh, this is the first step. Now we need to move to the second step. It's called event. So now uh, we have our own library. Now we need to, uh, with the help of this library, we 